It is just after three in the morning and I cannot sleep because I am in a mental battle with myself. Um, basically, um, I am experiencing um, a symptom of psychosis where I am holding a false belief. Um, specifically, I am afraid of something that has no evidence to it, its existence. I am afraid of something that doesn't exist. Um, I have nothing to demonstrate that it is real and therefore I should fear it. Um, and I find myself really struggling with this because there was a point, you know, there was a time in my life where I would experience these false beliefs, um, but be unaware um, that they were in fact false. And, you know, no one could really convince me that my beliefs were unfounded. Um, and now, um, I have progressed to a point where I can come to realize uh, when I am holding um, an unfounded belief. Um, but that doesn't stop me from having the belief in the first place. Um, so I get locked in this back and forth of, of, you know, this, you know, this is true and then trying to convince myself that there's no reason to think that it is true and you know and then I go well but it could be but yeah you have no reason to think that it's true and it's just you know back and forth and back and forth and <sighs> and I just I just <sighs> I, I like to think of, of myself as a rational person. Um, but I, and that is, well, that's something I'm struggling with. Well, it's just, what does it mean to be rational? Um, I mean, rational in the, you know, scientific sense of you know thoughts and beliefs and actions etc are you know are based on you know physical empirical evidence um, but there is um, you know a sense of rationality a broader sense of rationality but I'm not quite sure what that is or what that means right now. And I'm really struggling with that. And that, you know, really has to do with all the reading, you know, in philosophy that I've been doing lately, uh, which has been terrific. But at the same time, God damn. Um, You know, it can mess you up. You know, because it really, I mean, for me, it really makes me, you know, think and rethink all of my, you know, beliefs and assumptions and, you know, reasons for why I do what I do. Um, And and what kind of sucks, what really, really sucks about this um, is that 
Well, there's a couple things. One, I, I seem to be finding studying philosophy harder. It seems to be harder for me now than it was back when I was in college. Um, this could be because, um, for a lot of reasons. I mean, one, you know, when you're in a college or university, you have, you know, a structure, you know, you go into a philosophy class, they give you a syllabus, this is how we're going to study it. And, you know, so you have a structure to follow for your studies. And then of course you have the professor there kind of guiding you through it. And I don't have that now. Um, and unfortunately, um, I just don't, there's just the possibility of going back to college. Um, just, uh, it's, it's just not feasible right now, unfortunately. So what do you do? You know, what do I do? Um, You know, obviously I've been using, you know, great resources online, which has been phenomenal. But, um, there's really, but there's, you know, but that lack of structure and that lack of interaction between, you know, the rest of the students in the class and the professor, um, is uh, really hard for me. Um, that's one of the things I really enjoyed about school um, was just, you know, the interaction, the, 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 you know, stimulating conversation, you know, where you would grapple with these things and then, you, you know, you know, to discuss back and forth and you know, and you may not come to, you know, the same understanding as, say, your professor or someone else. Um, you know, but at least that was there to kind of help you through it. Um, you know, and I just, I don't have that anywhere. I don't have really anyone I can talk to about what I'm going through and, um, you know, the things that I'm doing now, Be, you know, none of my friends are interested, um, in philosophy. I mean, yes, there, you know, I have that video with, um, my sister, but, um, and I, you know, when I can talk to her, I do, but, um, you know, I talk to her maybe once every 10 days or so, maybe if I'm lucky, uh, it's just simply because she works, you know, 45, 50 hours a week. Um, so, you know, plus she has a fiance and they're getting ready for their wedding. And so, you know, um, and I would never impose on her like that intentionally. Um, so, <sighs> So that's one, that's the one thing I think is making it harder this time around. Um, the se second thing, and this is a little more abstract in a way, um, is it has to do with why I left school in the first place. Um, and basically the different, the, you know, I am not the same person that I was then, um, significantly because of what happened. Um, but, um, basically at the beginning of my senior year, I experienced what, you know, psychiatrists would call a psychotic break, um, where I basically lost, in my case, I basically lost all contact with reality. Um, it's like it, it's really hard 
to explain exactly what it was like, but it's, I mean, sometimes I explain it like there was a, there was a, a switch in my brain was turned off or, you know, connections were severed or basically everything rational and holding me to to you know reality around me um it, you know almost like ceased to exist like it it was it's not there anymore um it lost full connection with the rest of me and um And ever since then, I've, you know, I've slowly regained, um, I mean, for lack of a better phrase, a sense of reality. Um, but I do, I mean, obviously I'm, str I'm struggling with it still. Um, And I lost, but I think I lost something. And I mean, and this might not be true at all. I don't know, but I feel like I lost whatever ability I had to comprehend, to better comprehend what I was studying at school. Um. Um, in comparison to how how I understand and comprehend um, the subject matter now. Um, because, you know, I found that I could take it in and synthesize it and I would you know I wrote some from what I can remember <laughs> some really good papers on a whole lot of different things um, um, and unfortunately I don't have a lot of those anymore um, I just remember it being easier in a sense, but, um, I don't, I don't know, it's... Well, I mean, they were good enough to get me A's, so whatever that means. Um, you know, it always depends on the professor and how they grade, so. Um, yeah, and now it is the an incredible struggle for me. I am finding this really, really hard. You know, to go back and I, you know, I'm reading stuff that I know I've read before. Um, but I find that my brain is just having a hard time, a harder time grasping it. And again, this just m may might have to do with, you know, lack of, you know, an academic environment. Um, and it could just be that, and that I'm just, um, I don't know, you know, in quotes, trying too hard. Maybe. I don't know. Um... You know, and I keep forgetting that, um, 
you know, the study of philosophy especially, really, if you want to do it well, is a lifelong thing. You will never catch everything the first time around. You may catch nothing the first time around. That's why you go back and you read it, you know, over and over again. Um, so there is that. <laughs> um, or maybe I'm doing it right this time and I wasn't last time. So, and I feel in, I, and one more thing kind of unrelated, I guess, maybe in a way, but, um, I, f I really feel that I want to kind of, I mean, I've expressed this before. I want to write and I want to be able to express myself in a way that is clear um, you know, but also shows um I guess a sort of creativity on my part, I guess. And you know, I want to espouse my thoughts and my analysis on the things that I am reading, but I find myself hesitating a bit because, I mean, one, it goes back to that it's, it seems to be harder to grasp things, one, and two, um, you know, I do not have the you know, the proper affiliation or, you know, degree in which um, I would be more likely to be taken seriously. Um, you know, I don't... You know, I didn't, I didn't graduate. I was a year away, but I, you know, I just, you know, things happen and I just, I couldn't, you know, and I just couldn't do it. So, but I would like to think that that doesn't necessarily mean I cannot contribute in some meaningful way, you know? Um, I want to participate and but I find myself, you know, hesitating. well, significantly hesitating, you know, in, uh, you know, in that I just don't do it. Um, yes, I've done a couple things, but I never, I just haven't felt like it was anything significant. But, you know, again, 
that goes back to the whole, you know, irrational fear, you know, fear of something that probably doesn't exist. And, um, so yeah, this all kind of winds back to, I am in a mental battle with myself and it's exhausting, but it prevents me from getting the rest that I need. (laughs) So in the meantime, I'm going to listen to some music, um, but I need to decide between Dream Theater or Ozzy Osbourne. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Anyway, if you stayed around this long, thanks for listening to my ramblings. Um, 